tomorrow is the 4th of July. I'm making a video about America, about the founding of this country, about patriotism, about the founding fathers. Okay, it's about Hamilton. Hey, it's Liz and it's Monday and today I wanted to address Hamilton in all its glory. Can you believe this? I run a fandom channel and I have never made a video addressing Hamilton. That's just like a sin. So we're gonna rectify that right now. Also, you will notice that I have moved my video setup just a little bit over to the, well, it's my left, so it's probably your right unless it is your left and I just don't know how things work. Hamilton is a huge part of pop culture and it is a hip hop musical about the founding fathers, but mainly Alexander Hamilton and it is narrated by the character of Aaron Burr, aka the person who killed Hamilton, which makes for a very interesting musical because you're not seeing it through Alexander's eyes, through historians' eyes, you're seeing it through the lens of Aaron Burr. Now, Aaron Burr is a great character and I love him despite all of his many flaws and I think the reason for that is kind of concerning. I think I relate to him. Now, I know that kind of sounds crazy because he's kind of unstable and like killed a man, but there was a lot more to his personality than changing political parties because it was convenient for him, a, a bunch of iffy decisions and, you know, straight up bad decisions. To completely analyze his character, I want to talk about the song Wait For It, which is one of my favorite songs. I mean, heck, I have a quote from it right behind me on this collage. So I really like this song, especially since for the first time we're not really talking about Alexander as much as we're talking about Burr as a character. And a lot of things get introduced that make him make a lot of sense, and the entire song is just something I can relate to. The song starts because he came to the wedding towards the end, and Lawrence is like, hey, heard you got a girl on the side, and he was like, hey, shut up, John, and Alex was like, yeah, shut up, John, but really, Burr, tell me about it, and uh, then, you know, he goes and sings, because that's how musicals work. And it starts talking about his relationship with Theodosia, who is married, and married to a British officer. So it would be unwise to be like, hey, why don't we get married? <laughs> why don't you run away with me? Because it's like, there's a revolution going on right now. We are at war. It would just be a generally bad idea to try and get in the middle of this. It can wait. And that's kind of the scene in that set, because he's like, look, if she likes me, me, of all of the people, she likes me, I think I can wait. And then it introduces a little bit more about him, his backstory, and why he is so hesitant to make a stand on any given issue. His parents were very respected and they are dead. And that's just, like, stressful for obvious reasons, but also, like, if your parents are dead, that means you are their legacy, you're what's left of them, and now it's your job to carry on their legacy. Good luck, especially if your mom was, like, super smart and your dad was, like, super respected and Suddenly, everything you do reflects on them and how they raised you and who you are in perspective to them. Of course, whether or not people actually saw it that way isn't the point. The point is, that's how Aaron saw it. And that just leads to, like, being really stressed and thinking, look, they're dead and I'm not dead. And now I have to, like, protect their legacy. It causes a problem. And this is so deeply rooted in him that suddenly he can't just make decisions. On top of that, we get into the, I guess, bridge of the song, which has, you know, all of the powerful lines that we put on quotes on the wall, and that makes you think, I feel that. I really feel that. Starting with the line, I am the one thing in life I can control. 
If I had to guess, and I'm not a psychologist so I cannot, but as someone with OCD, I can kind of assume that Aaron Burr might have had some sort of OCD or other kind of anxiety disorder where he wanted to know the outcome of things before acting and that's kind of a common thing where if you don't know what's going to happen you don't particularly want to just jump right in and you weigh your options you evaluate how each option could potentially come out and by the time you've decided what you want to do that's not even an option anymore and the opportunity has passed you by. He gets so frustrated with it by the end that he kind of is like, fine, you want me to act? You want me to act without thinking about it? Fine. And then he shoots someone who was almost his friend and almost his nemesis. I don't really know what Burr's political beliefs were because he never made those clear. I don't know if he would have been a good president, but I think he could have been a president. This entire musical, we're seeing the world through Aaron Burr's eyes, and he is someone who wanted to make a difference and to leave his own legacy. You know, I am inimitable, I am an original. Wanted to, like, do something, but he also had a really hard time finding it in him to do something. It common to not be able to make a move because it's weighing your options and you're trying to decide is it worth it? Is it really something I want to do? Is it going to end the way that I want it to? Or is it going to go horribly wrong? Whether it's telling that person you like them or trying to get that job you want or applying to your dream college because you don't think that your grades and test scores are good enough or, you know, starting a freaking YouTube channel. <laughs> There is no right time to do these things. Like, if you wait for the right moment, it's never gonna come, and then all of a sudden this opportunity passes you by, and suddenly that person might not be interested anymore. That job is no longer open. The deadline to apply to that college is over. And, well, I don't know, maybe YouTube explodes or something, in which case that's bad, because I'm out of a job if that happens. No, it's not that easy. Trust me, I have so much different kinds of anxiety, I get it. It doesn't work that way. You can't just stand up and be like, I'm going to do it. But whatever it is that gets you in the right mindset to be able to do something, get in that mindset and then do it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and then leave a comment below if you want to see more Hamilton related content because like, I could make a video on every single character in Hamilton, honestly, because I've listened to it so many times and I think a lot about how they were crafted, especially by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who is an artist, a genius. I love the way that he has made this musical. It is beautiful. It is a work of art. So if you want to see more of this, <laughs> then just let me know and uh, that'd be cool. You can follow me in the links in the description box below and I really recommend that you do because I have more Hamilton related content coming on basically all of my accounts. So like that is the theme of the week. So stay with me because it's gonna be good. Be a bro, share this video with another bro, and if you have not done so yet, subscribe because not only do I make videos every Monday, but next week's video is also going to be pretty cool. Just like in an artistic way, less of a rancy way. Okay.